Hey everyone, it's Jansen. I am here at uh, Wyckoff Lodge, uh, which is our dining hall here at uh, the ranch. Uh, and I wanna, uh, first off, I wanna uh, tell you a story and then I'm gonna uh, have us all sing a really cool song. So, uh, my best buddy, Jerry Deeg, the ranch director out here, uh, him and I uh, were out for a hike uh, probably about a year ago. And we were hiking uh, pretty far out here at the ranch, way past the Beaver Creek uh, sub camp, uh, out on like the stagecoach road. And uh, we're hiking along, and next thing you know, Jerry spots this hole in like the side of like a like an incline. And so Jerry and I, being the curious guys that we are, kind of go over there and poke and prod around a little bit. Uh, and as as I move some of the debris and stuff away, I found that uh, it, it wasn't just a hole, but it, was, it appeared to go into something. So I pulled up my cell phone, turned on the flashlight, and looked inside and. It was actually a cave. So Jerry's going, dude, you can't go in there. And I'm going, no, I'm gonna give it a try. I'm gonna check it out. I can't, we've come this far. So I proceed to crawl in there. And next thing you know, this thing just opens up and it's a massive cave. A cave right here at DBRA, who would have known? So once I'm inside, I invite Jerry to come on in inside as well. And we're inside of this thing and we're looking around. And next thing you know, we spot on the wall these like drawings. And so there's little etchings and whatever else. Uh, and so we're not really quite sure what they mean. Um, but again, I had my cell phone. So I take some photos of the stuff on the wall. And uh, I figure, you know, next time I'm back in Detroit, I'll stop by Wayne State uh, and go to their, uh, to, their to their history department and talk to like the, you know, you know, one of the professors there to see if they can help me figure out what in the world these drawings really mean. So anyways, um, I go down to Wayne State. I call uh, Professor Heinrich uh, and I... Uh, Swing by, drop stuff off, checks it out. Uh, about a week later, Professor Heinrich calls me back and says, uh, Mr. Lemley, you're never going to guess what, but you're going to have to come down here right away. I got some really cool stuff to tell you. So I go on down to, down to Wayne State. Professor uh, Heinrich says, um, so this isn't just any drawings. These are actually hieroglyphics. These are hieroglyphics that a cave woman would have drawn uh, way back in the Stone Age. Uh, and it's actually not just writings, but it's actually a cave song. And so um, he was able to translate it for me, not only in um, English, but also in um, Cavanese, uh, the native language that this cave woman would have spoke. Uh, and so with that being said, uh, I wanna go ahead and uh, teach you what that song is. So this song is a repeat after me song. This song is a repeat after me song. And a do as I do song. And a do as I do song. First in Cavanese. First in Cavanese. Then in English. Then in English. Oh, Kalela, oh, oh, Kalela. Oh, Kalela, oh, oh, Kalela. A tikitera tumba, a tikitera tumba. A tikitera tumba, a tikitera tumba. A musa, 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 a musa, musa, musa. A musa, 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 a musa, musa, musa. A aloe, aloe, a. Aloe, aloe, a. Oh! My baby, oh, oh, my baby. Oh, my baby, oh, oh, my baby. A pterodactyl took her, a pterodactyl took her. A pterodactyl took her, a pterodactyl took her. I must, I must retrieve 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 her. She flew away, she flew far away. She flew away, far, far away. All right, pause, repeat after me. So. Hang on, I feel like I might have done you guys some disservice there. I don't think you really got the full brace of uh, what was going on in this cave woman's mind. Her baby was in her arms. Next thing you know, Pterodactyl swoops down, ah! steals her baby, is flying away with her baby, and now this mother in distress is now chasing after this Pterodactyl trying to get her baby back. So we're gonna sing this one more time in Cavanese and then in English, and we're gonna sing it with the passion that it would be if a cave woman, if you were that cave woman and you lost your baby to a pterodactyl. So resume, repeat after me. Resume, repeat after me. Oh, Kalayla, oh, oh, Kalayla. Oh, Kalayla, no, I'm not hitting my voice that high. <laughs> a ticket to a tumba, a ticket to a tumba. A tiki tara tumba, a tiki tara tumba. A moosa, 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 a moosa, moosa, moosa. A moosa, 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 a moosa, moosa, moosa. Hey, aloe, 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 aloe. Oh, my baby, oh, oh, my baby. 
baby. Oh, my baby. Oh, oh, my baby. A pterodactyl took her. A pterodactyl took her. A pterodactyl took her. A pterodactyl took her. I must, I must retrieve 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 her. She flew away. She flew away. She flew away. Flew far, far away. Give yourselves a round of applause. Nicely done, guys. <laughs>